Good day, everybody. Tony Bleasdale, the Mayor of Blacktown City Council here. It's now very clear that the coronavirus is causing major disruptions to our lives, to our families. A global pandemic has been declared. Many large public events have been cancelled and international travel has been totally disrupted. At Blacktown City Council, we have a duty of care to our residents, to our staff, and we will do everything we can to protect the health and safety of our community and staff. We take our role as leaders very seriously. Your council is committed to do whatever we can to slow the spread of the virus. The lessons from overseas are clear. We must act quickly and decisively. Otherwise, many lives could be lost. To this end, council will cancel or postpone all large gatherings, public forums and events under its control. Details of these cancellations will be on Council's website and social media. Council will recommend that large non-essential private gatherings, events and meetings should be cancelled or postponed. Council will play our part in sharing the vital public health messages. Personal hygiene is the most important weapon in our fight against this virus. Wash your hands, use sanitizers, cover your mouth when you cough or sneeze. If you have symptoms of fever, sore throat, cough, seek medical advice. Stay away from work if you've got a cold or flu. Plan with your employer where possible to work from home or to take some leave. At Blacktown City Council, we are leading by example. Our staff will be reorganised to minimise the risk of exposure to them. Many of our staff, although, will be working remotely. We will eliminate or reduce face-to-face -face meetings, but we will make sure that we will maintain vital council services to you. The virus will hit the most vulnerable among us, the elderly, the frail, those battling illnesses. Please take time to contact anyone you know in these groups. Ask them, are you okay? For the weeks ahead, we need everyone to help out in this regard. We expect our medical clinics and hospitals to be stretched to the limit. Think of it like this. Small sacrifices we make will help our doctors and nurses do their jobs. To beat the coronavirus, they need our help, and I want you to be thoughtful, be patient, be calm, and together we will get through this. Thank you all for your help at this very important time. We will ensure that our communities are protected, but we need your support and help. Again, thank you for your support.